The Mars Odyssey spacecraft was NASA's first 21st century mission to the Red Planet. It was launched in April of 2001 with a payload of four science instruments. One of those instruments was Themis, an infrared and visible light camera designed at Arizona State University. Odyssey arrived at Mars in October of 2001, and Themis began acquiring images in February of 2002. For the next 16 years, Themis tirelessly collected infrared images of the Martian surface. In early 2018, Themis finally completed full infrared coverage of the entire planet at a resolution of 100 meters per pixel. The best Themis images were then digitally stitched together into a single global map of Mars, a process which began in 2015 and only ended when the final images were collected in early 2018. The map was then colorized by elevation using topographic data from the Mars Orbital Laser Altimeter, which flew on the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft. The resulting map is the highest resolution map of Mars ever created. However, the Themis team was finding it difficult to share the map with the public and to communicate its significance. So, to demonstrate the scale of this accomplishment, the Themis team decided to print the map at full photo resolution. This makes the final map as large as a standard size basketball court. The team also printed pole-centered maps of both the North and South Poles to show an undistorted view of the Martian polar caps. The maps are printed on a durable reinforced vinyl material that people can walk across in either socks or shoes with clean room covers, which protects the printed surface from wear and tear. The map folds up for transport and can easily fit in a mid-sized SUV. It can be unfolded in as little as five minutes and can be refolded just as quickly. We usually prefer to set up the map in indoor gyms, but when necessary, we can also display the map outdoors. For these events, we first lay down a foam mat to protect the map from uneven surfaces. With only six volunteers, it can be set up in approximately one hour and can be disassembled in about half that time. Since printing the map in late February 2018, more than 2,200 people have been able to walk on the map and explore Mars for themselves. We have displayed the map at scientific conferences, at elementary, middle, and high schools, as well as public science festivals. With the support of AGU's Celebrate 100 Grants program, we will be able to share our map and the excitement of Mars exploration with members of Congress, their staffs, and visitors to the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum on the National Mall in spring 2019. Thank you for considering our proposal and congratulations on AGU's centennial.